All right. Let's continue with our studies in the book of Genesis chapter 3. After the serpent, the devil, Lucifer, Satan, the accuser of the brethren, the dragon, the deceiver, the one that Jesus saw falling from heaven like lightning, came and tempted Eve. So Eve gave in into sin after talking with the devil. So the devil tempted Eve and Eve disobeyed and transgressed against the law of God. Now one thing you have to understand my friend, sin is terrible in the eyes of God. Now we live in the day and age where bad things becomes good things and good things becomes bad things. In the book of Isaiah it says woe unto you if you call evil good and good evil. That's the day and age where homosexuality, lesbianism, cursing blasphemers have become popular and the women and men of God and the preachers of God have become non-popular. So be careful of what you are following, my friend. The serpent is the deceiver, the liar since from the day of creation. Do you understand the sound of my voice? I don't know what you're following, who you are that are listening to me right now, my friend. I don't know what your title is, but do not listen to the voice of God um, of this world, but listen to the voice of God Almighty, the one who created the heaven and the earth. So the devil came to deceive Eve. The woman followed and ate the fruit and so did Adam. Because God said, for in the day that you shall eat the fruit, you shall surely die. Now the word of the Lord is truth until this day, my friend. If God say marriage is between a man and a woman, it will always stay that way forever and ever. It doesn't matter if the Supreme Court changes it. It doesn't matter if the president changes it. It doesn't matter if the men put together and start a parade every year trying to March against the word of God Nobody can stand against the word of God Because you will lose Do you understand me? My friend If you are a minister A servant of God A man of God If you are not saved Or if you are half saved If you are playing church If you are in between Let me tell you something The word of God comes before everything You know why? Because the Bible says in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. Nothing was created before the Word of God, my friend. So if you want to follow, if you want to mimic, if you want to obey, you must obey the Word of God. If you obey the Word of God, you got wisdom. But if you are a man who's following culture and tradition, you're a fool. Because you will always lose at the end. The Bible says that the word of God will not come back void unto him. No matter what, God's words will not come back void back to him. You will lose. Jesus said God can make, actually John the Baptist when he was preaching to the Pharisees, he said, do not call yourself sons of Abraham. For God can make of these stones to become children of God. Do you understand? So my friend, if you are very smart, you will try your best. Pray and cry to God to obey God's words. Because without the word of God, my friend, you have nothing. If you run your family with the word of God, you'll be blessed. If you run your home, you raise your children, you run your church, you run your life with the word of God. You are the smartest man ever. It's not about money. 
the man who had the whole money of the world, the whole gold and silver and everything you could think of, name was Solomon. And he said in the conclusion of the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, he said the whole duty of men is what? Fear God. Fear God. Fear God and follow his commandments. It's not about being uh, a manager. It's not about having so many titles and degrees. It's not about being a celebrity. It's not about being the most popular guy in the world. It's about fearing God and follow his commandment. For the Bible says he that know him, what? Follow his commandment. For hereby we know that we know him if we keep his commandments. If you don't keep God's commandment, you're a liar. There are many people in church right now who call themselves Christians. And they believe. They call themselves believers. They, but they're liars because they are compromising with LGBTs. They're compromising with lesbians. They accept homosexuals in their churches. They are agreeing with the Supreme Court's decision. They call themselves Christians, but they are not. Because why would you support that which God hates? If you really call yourself a man of God, a woman of God, you would stand up against what God stand up against. You would hate what God hates. You would love what God loves. And if you are listening to me right now and you are a compromiser, you are a coward. And the word of God said cowards will have their part in the lake of fire, my friend. What are you? Are you a true Christian or are you a lukewarm Christian? Because the lukewarm Christians, all they want to do is to stay in the pews. All they want to do is stay in the pulpit and hide themselves. The Bible says that put your candle in the in the top house. Put it on top of a pedestal. Put it on the top of the candle. Why would you hide your candle in the church while millions are on their way to hell? Because you are a lukewarm Christian. Because you are not following the word of God. The same way Eve disobeyed God and Adam from the beginning. Because they were not meditating on the word of God. Which is why God told Joshua, meditate on my word day and night. Then you will be successful in everything that you do. But that's not what they are teaching our children these days. They tell them to become professors, to become lawyers, to become doctors, to become basketball players and football players. Then they'll be successful. That is a lie from the devil, from the pit of hell. You can possess all the possession of this world and you can have all the money in this world. Jesus said, what profit a man to win the whole world and lose his own soul? It doesn't matter how much money you got. You can have more money than Bill Gates and can you have more money than Oprah Winfrey you still are nothing if you don't have the Lord Jesus Christ in your life but when you have Christ in your life my friend when you obey his word you follow his commandments you have life because God has created all things before he even created us do you understand what I'm saying so what I'm trying to emphasize here is that the word of God should be the most important things in your life before your family, before yourself, before your wife, before your mother, before your sister, before your kids, before your college professor. You do not esteem anyone above God's word, but you put God's words first. Until you do that, unless you do that, my friend, you are a false Christian. Christian, you are a false preacher. You are a false minister. You have a false belief because God's word is His will. That's why the Bible says in, in Matthew chapter 7, if you continue, it says not everyone that says Lord, Lord will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but everyone that does the will of God. If you don't know the word of God, how would you do his will? So Eve did not follow the word of God. That's why she fell into sin in Adam. Because they neglected. How many people that are listening to me right now have neglected the word of God? All they are focusing on is some church activities, church programs. But they do not obey the commandment of Jesus Christ who says, go and preach to all nations. Now, look at our country. It is being flooded with homosexuality. It is being flooded with transgender. It is being flooded with, with bestiality. It is being flooded with what? With what else? Abortion. Immorality. And then look at our 
young girls the way they dress like prostitutes all in our faces and pornography is all over now people doesn't even need to open up a television to watch x-rated movies it's all over their places girls wearing tight short tight spandex that are that, that are so provocative, it is unbelievable. You feel like you are in Sodom and Gomorrah. Do you understand what I'm saying? And those Christians are fine living in America with all these things happening. Nobody is being stirred up in themselves. Nobody is having any righteous indignation. People are just comfortable. They are just partying. They are just having fun. Like everything is fine. Everything is not fine. It is time to wake up and smell the coffee that we are living in the last days. Perilous time is here, my friend. Perilous time is here. Perilous boosters. People don't care about God. They care about pleasure more than they care about God. And the Christian are staying in church, <laughs> clapping their hands like everything is fine. Everything is not fine. It is, this is the time that they should be getting up to march this is the time that they should be proud of their jesus to preach the word of god in the streets to expose themselves because the bible says faith comes by hearing by hearing by hearing of the word of god so if the more we preach the word of god the more seeds we are going to plant in their hearts so that they can know the difference between clean and unclean evil and good bad and good but if you don't preach the truth how would they know the bible says if how would they believe if they don't hear the word and how would they hear it if we don't send a preacher? Preaching the word of God was not meant for saved people, for saints, but it was made for sinners. Jesus said, I came not for the righteous, but to bring sinners to repentance. He said, I did not come for the one that are whole, but I came for the one that are sick. Many sick people out there, they are on drugs, they are on crack cocaine. The gospel was made to do what? To go out. Jesus was an activist. He was going out with the disciples. He did not stay in the temple. So I do not know what kind of church, what kind of people, our, our preachers and our ministers these days, what are they following? You know why? I believe all of them have an agenda. They just want to become popular. They just want to become a celebrity. But they have no intention to preach the word of God to the soul. And they have no love for the soul of God. And God is going to get them at the end because God knows the intents of the heart. My friend, wake up. The same way Eve was deceived, many in our days are being deceived right now. So what did it say? And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasing to the eyes and the tree to be desired to make one wise, she took up the fruit thereof and did eat. Many people are eating from the devil's table. Whatever the devil offers, they eat it. If he offers transgender, they eat it. If he offers homosexuality, they eat it. If he offers uh, same-sex marriage, they just eat it. Whatever the devil gave these so-called fake Christians and fake religion out there, people just open up their mouth and just eat any food that the devil gives them. If the devil tell them the joke, they say, I'll hide. My friend, it is time to stand up and fight. Jesus said, I did not come to bring peace, but I came to bring a sword. A sword to divide, to separate holy from unholiness. Do not be only equally yoked with unbelievers. He said, do not compromise with the unfruitful work of darkness, but rather what? Reprove them. Do you understand, my friend? So what? Eve ate it and Adam ate it too. And the eyes of them were both open and they knew that they were naked. So all of a sudden, shame, the spirit of shame entered into their body. And now they heard the voice of God, they walk away, they ran away from the word of God, from the voice of God. When people are sinning, that's why they don't want you to go out to preach. That's why they can't go out to preach. That's why they can't witness because they have some secret sins in their life. Because they can't stand up, they can't surrender, they still love, they are sports nuts. They love to watch the football, they just to watch the Olympics, they love to watch the soccer game, they love to watch LeBron James, they love to watch all this crazy stuff of this world. 
And then that's why they cannot give up because they love the world. And the Bible says a friendship of the world, you become an enemy of God. I'm talking about the sports nuts. Those people who are just fanatic. It becomes an idol. Anything that becomes an idol is bad. I'm not saying for you to stay home, don't do anything, but anything that becomes an idol, 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 idolize. When you idolize, you know all the stats in the basketball, all the stats in the football, all the stats in the soccer game. Then it becomes an idolize. You become a sports nuts. Do you understand what I'm saying, my friend? And they heard the voice of God, they were ashamed. That's why you are ashamed of your Jesus because you are a sports nuts. You talk about LeBron James more than you talk about Jesus. You talk about some dumb movie, then you talk about Jesus. You talk about your 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 purses, your nails, your 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 beauty salon, what you're gonna buy, what kind of clothes you're gonna buy, because you all walk away from Jesus, you are ashamed of Jesus because you are in sin. People who are in sin don't want their, their deeds to be reproved. They don't want their deeds to be revealed. They don't want their deeds to be exposed. So what do they do? They run away from the light because light will expose their sin. Because their deeds are evil, they stay away from God. So shame enters. Do you understand? So that's exactly what Adam and Eve did over here. So the matter of the story is, my friend, study the word of God. Give your life to Jesus. You have no more time left. Trust me, my friend. You have no more time left. And the Lord called them and said, where are thou? Where are you? You think you're still a Christian? If you're still in your sin, you're not a Christian. If you're still fornicating, you're still pot smoking, you're still masturbating, you still have jealousy and hatred against people, you're still a sex freak, you are not a Christian. You need to repent of those sins. If you still have pride, you don't follow the commandment of God, you don't follow the word of God. You are not a Christian. You need to repent of your sin. And if you call yourself a Christian and all you do is go to church, you are deceived. Jesus did not call us just to go to church. Show me in the Bible where is that commandment. The Bible said those that worship him, worship him in what? In spirit and in truth. And he called us to do what? To do his will. He can he said, go out to the highways and the byways and the edges and compel them to come. You see what I'm saying? Our job is not only to go to church, it's unity. One's mind, one soul, one heart to do what? To preach the gospel and win the world for Jesus, stand up against sin, protest in your neighborhood and your community, get involved. In, around in a uh, little in little in your neighborhood get involved and stand up against sin if one lady can stand up and take prayer out of school then you can stand up also to bring prayer back in the school and fight against those demons and those devils and stop playing candy crush in your telephones time is at hand stay in the word don't be deceived like Eve and Adam. Do not be ignorant of the devil's devices. If you are in your sin, then you are ignorant of the devil's devices. God bless you. God keep you. Until the next video. If you care, share, subscribe.